Hello guys, so today we're heading to Mount Asawa to visit some shrines and today we're joined by a special guest. Hello, I'm Sana. I would be happy if everyone will be interested in Japanese culture of the city. Okay, let's go. Hello, so we arrived at Fujishima Shrine and behind me is the Tori Gate. It marks the border between the mundane and the sacred. This shrine is known for its brilliant red Tori Gate. So since the Tori Gate is the border between the mundane and the sacred, before you enter, you always want to bow. So in Japan, they have these things called stamp rallies where you would collect a bunch of stamps and you would get a prize. This one is for shrines around the area. So you visit a bunch of shrines and if you get all the stamps, you get a little prize. Okay, so now we're at Keiakuro Tatsu Shrine. Let's take a look around. So in Japan, they have areas known as power spots. And these areas are like spiritual locations. So this shrine has a thing called Yakuwari Ishi, which is basically a thing where you would breathe on a rock to put your negative energies on it, and then you would break that rock. In Japan, they have these things called Goshuinchos, which is a stamp book, and each shrine has their own unique stamp that you can go and collect, and these stamps are usually around 300 to 500 yen. Okay, so now we're at Atagozaka. Okay, so now we're at Asua Shrine. I've been here many times in previous videos, 
but behind me is the shrine's 380-year-old sakura tree. Temples and shrines, they sell omamori, which are protection charms. They are said to give good luck and good health to those who own them. So people would usually buy them for friends and family or for themselves. Okay, so those are the shrines of Mount Asuwa. So, this is the Okay, so if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.